Okay guys, I'm going to take you through an advanced project here in color and we're going to work on this Camaro a little bit and we're going to, I'm going to take you through the color effects room and show you some more about it. I can't find a whole lot of information about the color effects room so I'm assuming you guys can't either. So I'm going to go through with the color effects room here and show you how you can use a couple separate keys, you can key them together, you can do everything that you can do in the secondaries you can do manually in the color effects, okay? plus give it some more awesome looks so let's just start out with our effects room what I'm gonna do is find start off by finding a um, hue saturation and luma key I'm gonna pull it in here and drop it okay I'm gonna double click on it that turns it brown that means this is what I'm viewing even if I click on the output it gives me the output selections over here the the parameters but I'm still viewing this one. If I want to view the output, I double click it and it's brown. That way I can go back up to my hue, saturation, and luma key and still have the um, parameters. So this is a way of looking at one node while adjusting another. So we just need to fool with the hue, saturation, luma key right now. We don't need to fool with the output. So I'm going to key out this car by clicking the eyedropper. It works just like it does in the secondaries room. Okay, now we've got this. I'm going to go over here and adjust these a little bit. The best I can anyway without spilling over too much okay you'll just have to fiddle with this of course you know it's up to you to just kinda of fiddle with your picture our error picture is different now as you can see we're not we're, I'm not able to get it all so we're gonna have to really kinda of use two keys for this and that's not going to be a problem. You can really use as many as you need. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in another hue, saturation, and luma key. Click it. Let's go in and let's get some more of the car here. Like say that right there. Now we don't have to worry much about anything outside because we can use vignettes and stuff to uh, adjust that. So let's open this up a little bit and get the rest of the car here. What we didn't get before. So, okay, now with this key and this key, between the both of them, we should have about the whole car took care of. This one's a little rough around the edges, but we can work with it. So now that I have these two keys, what do we do? We need to join these keys together, and I want to do that by going up to the top here and getting an add node, bringing in my add node. And I'm going to bring these down and click them in. Now, as you can see, we have a mat. This has made us a mat. Now, we can go back into our hue, saturation, and luma keys, of course, and adjust them. And you want to make your picture, you know, as wide as your Camaro or whatever you're trying to get the color out, as wide as you can get it. Like I say, you don't have to worry too much about anything else because we're going to use vignettes and stuff for that. Let's go to our other one here and adjust this one a little bit. Like so. Okay. I think that's about all the fooling I'm going to give it today. I think you guys get the idea of how to uh, do this. Just use as many keys as you need to make sure your whole system is white. And now it looks like we've got ourselves a pretty pretty good mat. We can add some bias from the add here in the add parameters. So down. Okay, this I'm not gonna fool with it too much. You guys get the idea about how to uh, work with your keys to get a good mat. Now we've had this add node, we've added it together to get this mat. Now what we're gonna do is I'm going to blur this a little bit because I like it to be blurred. Bring in a blur node and let's blur it a tad. Now we have this blurred mat here, as you can see. Now I'm going to bring in an alpha blend. I'm going to delete this output because it might be getting confusing you guys. And I'm going to bring this into the last input of my alpha blend okay now this first input is the source movie 
that we're working on. Now this second input is what I want to use to control it. I can use saturation, I can use hue, I can use gamma. So I want to put gamma, drag a gamma node in here, drag it into my alpha blend, double click the alpha blend. Now we're viewing our alpha blend. Let's click the gamma to bring up the properties. Now let me bring down the gamma. Now as you can see when I do that, we're just adjusting where the mat is that we made with our hue saturation and luma keys here we added them together to get this mat and now this that's the portion of the image that we are affecting just the, the part that we made the mat for okay so I'm gonna deepen this red a whole lot make it real deep I didn't like that orangish color before let's make that real deep okay now we have this set up let's go to back to our secondaries now Make sure your secondaries are enabled. I'm going to enable a vignette. It's going to be a circle. So I'm going to make it the size of my wheel here. Like so. And we're adjusting the inside. I'm going to take the saturation out. Now, as you can see, that has took care of our wheel. Um, we have a little bit of such red bleeding over onto the floor here, so we can go to our tab number three. We can enable it, enable the vignette. This time I'm going to make it a square. And I'm going to take it over here off to the side. Like that right there. And, and we can make sure we adjust the inside, not the outside. And we're just going to adjust and correct this little bitty red block here. Like so. Take the saturation down. And there, that got rid of that. You can do the same thing on a fourth tab if you want. Enable it. Enable a vignette. I'm going to make it square. And I can bring it down here to the bottom like this. 